Hi there, Mike the Vegas Guy here. Thank you for joining me once again as I attempt to rate and review every show playing in Las Vegas. And today, I am reviewing The Atomic Saloon at the Venetian. The Atomic Saloon show plays Tuesdays through Saturdays at an upstairs space in the Grand Canal shops. This show is produced by Spiegel World, the people who brought you Absinthe, Opium, and their newest show, The Disco Show, at the link. Spiegel World has made a name for themselves by presenting world-class circus variety performers, the same quality you would see in a Cirque du Soleil show, juxtaposing them against some of the most offensive, low-brow comedy you can think of. I would give you examples of those jokes, but I'd like to keep this channel. This is certainly one of the most entertaining, top-notch shows you can see in Las Vegas. That is, of course, if you have thick enough skin to appreciate the humor. I'm the type of person who enjoys a good, fun, adult-themed, raunchy show, but not everyone does. And I would be remiss if I published this video without warning you about the content. It is not necessarily a show you might want to bring your adult children to. You might be an adult who may not want to bring your parents to this show. You may not want to go to this show with certain co-workers. There is content in here that is designed to make a majority of the audience blush. The comedy in this show elicits the kind of laughter that only comes after you cringe a little first. So if you are prepared to see a comedy, burlesque, circus show, and you're not easily offended, you are gonna love this show. My number one complaint about this show, and it may be yours as well, are the ticket prices. So as I always do in my videos, I'm gonna show you the seating chart here. Let's take a look. And I have included the prices, or should I say the price ranges. This show utilizes dynamic pricing. That means that they are allowed to change the price of the tickets depending on business needs. This show doesn't lean into it quite as heavily as other shows do. You're going to notice if you look at the calendar on their website that they have lower prices midweek, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursdays, and then higher prices on Fridays and Saturdays. The calendar, of course, shows you tickets as low as 99, but that's before the fees are included. I always show you the full price, including the fees. You're gonna see a range for the lowest end ticket starting at 120, 28 cents, and on peak performances at 156, 80. Basically, for the difference between the peak and non-peak, they just go up one price range from there. So the next level, 156 to 177, the level above that, 177 to 200, then the VIP section, 282 to 224, 22. You're also gonna see that they have VIP booths, those yellow tables along the sides. Those tables demand that you buy in at least pairs of two. If a table seats four, you can only purchase the entire table of four. There's a couple that seat Two seats, you can only buy the entire table of two. A table of two in that section comes to $580.84 after fees. Those VIP tables do come with a bottle of champagne or you can choose to have a bottle service with cocktails. Most importantly, those are, without a doubt, the best seats in the theater. This is a very strange showroom. It's a very narrow, old-fashioned, it is, it's shaped like a saloon. It reminds you of the Golden Horseshoe at Disneyland. There is a circular in the round stage in the center of the room, and there is more stage in the traditional style at the end of the room, but there are seats on the stage as well. If you sit in that back section, the section at the bottom of your screen here, those are on the stage, actors will be around you the entire time. My pro tip, if you don't mind 
actors in your face, which is one of those things that happens wherever you sit and most of the seating are in this theater. If you're not phased by that, go with the cheapest tickets that you see in that particular section on the stage. That will provide you some really up close views to some of the action, as well as uh, probably one of the best views of, of an unobstructed view of the action in the center of the room. You will also see in the balcony in the upper level, you're going to see some seats that have uh, two colors on each of the seats. Those are obstructed view seats, specifically the last row of the balcony. That center section in the balcony is basically just some high top bar stools that you can sit on and there's three rows there. That last row, you just have heads in front of you. So they're not really obstructed if it weren't for the other audience members that are gonna be seated in front of you. Now I said that my least favorite thing about this show is the ticket prices. This room is an awkward room. The stage setup is strange and it is small. This place does not seat that many people to begin with. It is extremely intimate. So if you're looking to save money, I would recommend going with the cheapest possible ticket, but it is not going to be the best view of the show. And the seats that are the best view of the show are outrageously priced. Is this a wonderful show? Yes, but these prices rival some of the biggest production shows on the Strip. You may have already seen my review of Awakening at the Wynn. It's a multi-million dollar spectacle. The tickets are basically the exact same price range as this show. This is a tiny burlesque style show. As wonderful as it is, as professional as the finished product is, you can't possibly compare it to a Cirque du Soleil show or Awakening or any major production show. Frankly, the reason the ticket prices are so high, they are in the Venetian. The Venetian has high-end clientele who can afford high ticket prices. So in spite of average everyday showgoers like me and you, who might not be able to afford a ticket to this show regularly, the Venetian is filled with thousands of people every day, every week, who can afford those, and the show is in their hotel, so they buy the ticket and they go see it. Unfortunately, because they do not have any trouble selling these expensive tickets to this show, it doesn't leave much for us in the way of discounts. If you've watched my tutorials on ticket discounts, you're gonna be hard pressed to find this show on any of those third-party brokers. The only one I regularly see this show on is gonna be Vegas.com. They do offer a slight discount. I've seen it as low as 112 for the lowest price. You're going to have to do your homework as always. I would say if you can get a ticket to this show for 112 for even under $150, it is worth it. It's an excellent show. You should try to go see it. But don't break the bank. Unfortunately, because of the content of this show, because I simply cannot guarantee that you or your guest is going to love the show. I can't guarantee that you might not be offended by some of the content in this show. I simply cannot in good conscience recommend this show to you if it's not certain that you're going to enjoy it. If you are cost conscious like I am, I simply can't recommend spending hundreds of dollars on this show. So if you can afford it, I absolutely recommend this show. It really is a lot of fun. But if you are watching this channel to find deals, to find recommendations for when you aren't sure which show you want to see, if you can only afford to spend your hard-earned dollars on one show while you're here in Vegas, I can't recommend this to you. So it is with the utmost respect for the performers, the wonderful creative people who put this show together, I'm giving this my four-star great show rating. The show itself truly is wonderful, but it just doesn't live up to the enormous ticket prices. So keep your eyes peeled for deals on this show. If you find a good discount, let me know if you've paid less than $100 to see this show. I'd love to hear it. Let me know in the comments which show you would like me to review next. Thanks for tuning in. I'm Mike the Vegas Guy.